So we are bargain boxing across America, and I was looking in Arkansas for a card shop. I couldn't find one in Little Rock, but Fort Smith, right on the border of Oklahoma, had one. I called them. They said they had some boxes. So we're going to go in and see how we do. Wish me luck. This should be fun. So watch this whole video through. We're not just in Fort Smith, Arkansas today. We're back home in Vegas for the second half of this video at 702 and also Legacy. And we had a really, really good day at Legacy. This is an iconic early 90s card. I probably should have picked it up for a buck. It's not worth a ton, but it's just cool. It's got all the stars from that time. This is a pretty good deal right here. I had to pick it up. An Aiden Hutchinson to 50. It's $7. One sold fairly recently for 22. I have the only one on eBay right now and I put mine at $28. This seemed like a no-brainer to me, a Durham Smythe championship ticket to $49 for only $3 autograph. The lowest one on eBay right now is $16. We'll see how we do, but at $3, I couldn't pass it up. Tanner McKee is on the Philadelphia Eagles, and his autograph cards are doing fairly well right now. They're not super high end, but at $5, I can do well on this. I think I can get about $12 to $18 on that rookie auto. This set right here, the Elite Series, is probably the first real numbered card set that came out. Numbered to 10000 in 1992. This Darren Dalton goes for around $20. bucks. they are asking 10 I honestly should have got it just for the PC, if nothing else. But I ended up putting it back. But these cards are awesome. There's also a two for a dollar box at this shop, so I picked up just cards I thought were interesting. These aren't going to make me much money. I might even break even on a few of them, but they're just cool. I love these ProVision cards. They were super hot a couple years ago. ProVision, Bo Jackson, King Griffey Jr. Frank Thomas, rookie for 50 cents. I'll take it. This is cool. A vintage ticket. I've done really well in the past selling concert tickets, so I imagine that's well worth the 50 cents. Going to put it on eBay and let it rip. A couple Mark McGuire ProVision cards. Those are awesome. Trevor Hoffman, Wave of the Future, Hall of Famer. The Flair stuff was pretty pricey back in the day. Here's some more of the later ProVision stuff. Just look at the artwork on it. Football, we got Tim Brown and Marshall Falk. These are both from the 1995 set, I believe. This classic cartoon one, Emmett Smith, and also a Bill Belichick rookie card. Man, these boxes are fun. Pat Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes' dad, rookie card for the Twins. This Brian Taylor card coming up next is a hologram. I'm starting to kind of collect um, bust cards, and that's going to go in my PC. I just think it's a dope-looking card. What could have been? He was almost a sure thing if he didn't mess up, I think, his elbow or something in a bar fight. Vladdy Sr. rookie card. I think I had a few of those as a kid. That's just a dope card. This is just a neat 3D card of, is that Kirby Puckett? Don't know what it's worth. Had to get it. These art cards are awesome. Bo Jackson. I'm kind of on the fence on whether I'm going to start a Bo Jackson PC. It's probably going to happen. Maybe even a King Griffey Jr. one. That's an awesome provision. But do you see this right here? This is the steal of the day. Now that is a cool card. It's also pretty rare. That is a gold signature collector's choice King Griffey Jr. card from 1995. Now I knew this immediately when I saw it because back in those days, I would go to Kmart and get collector's choice all the time. It was like one of the cheaper products. I don't remember if I ever pulled any uh, gold signatures. I'm not sure like if they were one per box or what the exact, you know, how many per pack there were, but it was hard to find. And the best player you could get outside of maybe a Michael Jordan in 94 would have been that King Griffey Jr. I was actually a little surprised how good that card is. Um, it recently sold on bid. I would have guessed offhand, you know, 20 to 30, maybe a little more. Maybe I was off a little is what I was thinking. But it recently sold two days ago on auction for $56 plus shipping. Now that's on auction. You don't sell cards like that on auction, in my opinion. You put it as a buy it now. I'm probably going to put it at a buy it now between $80 and $100 and have best offer on that and see where it goes. But I picked this up for $0.50 cents in the middle of Arkansas. Such a cool card, so stoked to have found it. So I was talking to the guys here, Legends, Sports Cards, and Collectibles. Super good dudes, super nice guys. They've been in business for like three months and they're getting a really good reputation, guys. I got some great deals. And if I had more time to dig, um, I could have found a lot more and probably made some bundle deals and stuff. But I have to get in and get out because I'm going cross country right now. But check them out, guys. Really good shop. For the second half of this bargain box hunting video, guess where I am? I'm back home, Legacy Sports Cards. I saw on Instagram like three or four or five days ago, they had new boxes here. I was, you know, on the other side of the country at the time, but now I'm back home. I'm gonna go check it out and hopefully 
you can find some good stuff. I miss Legacy. In the next couple days, I'm gonna head over to 702 Cards too, which is a little farther away from me. This was a little easier to get to, but we're gonna check it out and see what we find. I am starting out in the baseball boxes with this on-card Joe Panic rookie autograph from the San Francisco Giants for three bucks. That seems like a pretty good deal. I'm not 100% sure why, but Ryan Friel autograph stuff does well. I set this aside and was surprised at the market for it. This looks like it'll give me maybe $20 to $30. Jeff McNeil is a pretty good player on the Mets. This is an immaculate on-card auto for five bucks. I put that on Whatnot, and I believe I did pretty well on it. Speaking of Whatnot, I do have a $15 credit for Whatnot if you're a new user. It's down in the description. All you have to do is click the link and go ahead and use it. Everson Pereira just got called up to the New York Yankees, so I decided to pick up that autograph as well as this one for $6. This one sold in, I believe, one day for $17 plus shipping. It's good to pay attention to who's being called up. For $3, I couldn't pass up a one-of-one one card, even though it's Leaf. Jermare Johnson, I believe, is still on the Lions. We'll see how that does. I don't think I'll lose. And for $2, I'm going to pick up this Jaden Shutt autograph, mostly because he's in his Duke uniform. Form. The autos go all over the place. I may not do well, but we'll see. On a Topps baseball card relic, if you see that little sticker on the uniform, that means it's game dated. So you can actually see what game that game used piece was used. This is numbered to 25. I think it's a no brainer at four bucks. I'd imagine I'll do 10 plus. Here's another Leaf one of one card for $3. It's a pretty cool looking card. Tanner Huck of the Boston Red Sox. I think I'll do pretty well on that. And then I got this Anthony Siegler autograph for $2. I believe he's on the Yankees. Probably should have passed on this one, but I got it anyway. I don't typically buy these large top loaders like this, but since I got so many of those thick cards in that collection in Virginia, I'm going to pick some of those up as well. Now on to 702. I have not been to 702 in like four weeks, maybe like a month. So I'm excited, guys. We're going to go in there and see what kind of bargain box deals we can find. I love when I find all these old school semi-star and stars from the 80s and 90s. Fat Lafayette Lever Auto for $2. That should do okay. I might keep that one. Number to 25, Gilbert Arenas and Antoine Jameson. A couple of former Warriors turned Wizards. Cool card. Number to 25, super low numbered. I got a few of these David West cards, number to 79. Some weird numbering on them. We'll see how they do. I think they're cool. They are not rookie year, I don't believe, but they're still pretty neat. This is neat. Carlos Boozer and Luol Deng. Next up, we got this pretty low number, David Fisdale, pink Pulsar, I think, prism, numbered to 42. That should do good at $2. A Richard Jefferson dual jersey, number to 99. That's a cool looking card. A Spurs jersey card right there. Lou Dortz, number to 50 autograph for two bucks. I'm taking that all day. I love dual autograph stuff. Daniel Ewing and Chris Duhon. And we got a LaMarcus Aldridge Power Picks rookie number to 100. Love that. Pretty good player. Tyrus Thomas, former number four pick, I think, in like the 06 draft. Got a couple on-card autos of him. We'll see how those do. They're awesome. And another dual auto. Just random players, but I love the dual autos. On to some football. Let's see how we do. Derek Dees to 225. These are all $1 cards. Couldn't pass up this Evan Neal, even though it's wild card, to four. Two of four. That'll probably go on eBay. Malik Willis. You know, this is number to 200, but for a buck, I'm just going to buy it. Brees Hall. I've been watching Hard Knocks. This die cut number to 299 T Higgins is awesome. I put this through whatnot in one of the lots. It's just a great looking card at a buck. I couldn't pass that up. Kenny Pickett, these illusion rookie cards are insane looking. You know, it's a pretty basic card value-wise, but I put that through whatnot. Bobby Carpenter. Ohio State legend autographs for a dollar a piece. I'm picking those up. Those should be about five to ten dollars a piece on eBay, maybe even a little more. This is from new product right here, Travel Harris autograph. We got a Justin Herbert to 149. I put that through whatnot. Herbert stuff's very, very popular. Next up, we got a number to 199 Malik Willis. And even better than that, we have this green parallel of Brees Hall, number to 49 Flux. That's a great deal at a dollar. If you know, you know on this card, Thousand Stripe Roger Craig for a dollar. This sold in one day for me for $20. Back in the day, you could turn that card into wild card and get a thousand copies of that Roger Craig card. This is a nice Anthony Richardson optic. This should get me like three, four, maybe five dollars. And a number to 10 Spectra Justin Hunter. I just picked it up because it's so dang low numbered, hard to find. Here are some more dollar football cards that I found. Mike Bell played for the Broncos for a little bit, autograph. Picked up this Gabe Watson because it's Michigan, big school for a dollar. 
I should be able to make a profit on that. Hank Basket, he played for the Eagles for a few years. Texas Longhorn legend Michael Griffin to 100. That's a steal for a dollar. I'll take that all day. Didn't play that long in the NFL, but he was a pretty good college player. Ammon Olsen, honestly, I just remember the name vaguely, so I decided to pick it up. Seems like a player that probably played somewhere in Utah. Trey Sterling, just a good-looking autograph from this year. I think I posted that at like 5 or $6. We'll see how it does. Davis Cheek, quarterback auto from this last year for a dollar. I'm picking it up. This is for my bust collection. Jamarcus Russell, I'm keeping this. This is a $2 card. The yellow tape's $2. Number to 50, that's just going in my PC binder. Braxton Miller, turn of the century, rookie auto, OSU legend. I'm going to pick that up at 2 bucks all day. And these are cool. These are platinum edition cards from 2000. They're numbered to only 50. Hard to find. I don't care who it is. At $2, I am picking that up. And this is a great deal. Rashad Bateman for 2 bucks. He's a big-time wide receiver for the Ravens. This Gabriel Arias on-card autograph is a steal for a dollar. Should get me about $17, $18 plus shipping. Bo Jackson, rated rookie. Put that through whatnot right away. A dollar. That's a steal. We got a Bobby Witt refractor. Just a good-looking card. Had to pick that up. Giancarlo Stanton, number to $199. Put that through whatnot. It's the kind of card that can do pretty well there. A number to $99 McKenzie Gore from this year's Topps Chrome. We've got a rookie. For a dollar, a rookie, one of these foils, numbered to $4.99. I'm going to pick that up. Fujinami got traded to the Orioles, and this is an orange parallel of his rookie card. I'm not sure how he's playing there. He wasn't doing great for the A's, if I remember right. Von Grissom, foil right there, Von Grissom, one of the bigger rookies from this year's class. Pedro Martinez, rookie, put that one through whatnot. I love these cards. These are the hit, quote-unquote hit, in the blaster boxes from last year's tops. I'm not even sure if they're doing them anymore in any of the retail products, but I picked them all up. They're just cool looking cards. If you lived through the 1990s, you know how hard it was to get these gold rare Topps Finest cards, Latrell Sprewell, and I also got an Akeem Elijahwan. The Elijahwan I think goes for around $7 shipped. Great deal at a dollar a piece. So cool. So, so cool. It's really nice to be back at 702 in Vegas, guys. I went across the country and seriously, it's the best bargain box experience I've found. Burbank is second to me. Uh, just a little pricier, not quite as much good stuff, uh, at least when I went. But Burbank is constantly churning, so it's kind of a, a numbers game. But it's it's 702, then Burbank for me. Um, I mean, I got hooked up to, I got $100 worth of stuff, and he gave it to me for 75 So some really good stuff in there. So it was a good, good day. It's good to be home. Good to be home.